Hey there, Nangas here. Today's video is just a bit of a midweek quick tip on testing the water pumps from an outboard. So I've had a couple of questions recently about people doing this test and saying everything looks right but it's failing the test, it's not pumping water. So I just wanted to really quickly go through doing this test just to make sure that everything's being done right so that you're not getting a kind of a false negative, that you're actually not getting a pump that's actually in perfectly good condition, not pumping water because the test isn't being done right. This is a little uh, leg from a Mercury, eight horsepower I think it was. You'll see you've got the grill here for the water intake. With this leg in the uh, battery box here, you'll see that the water's up above the water intake here. I've got the gear selector here in neutral, so this is a pull-push type, so I get it neutral so that when I turn the drive shaft, the propeller doesn't spin. Obviously, I don't want that inside this box. So now I'm going to put a cordless drill on the top of this drive shaft, and we'll spin the drive shaft. Got the cordless drill here, clamped down onto the splines of the drive shaft. It's not gonna do any real damage to it. If you're really worried, you could perhaps wrap some tape around it or something, but in this case, I'm pretty comfortable. It's not gonna do any harm. And then if I hit the, hit the, in this case, I'm, this is a motor that turns clockwise. So you'll see there, no water is pumping. Now, if this motor turned anti-clockwise, I'd have an issue. So you've got to make sure you know, you're turning from the drive shaft and you know which way the motor turns. But the reason that wasn't pumping any water is that this is not a self-priming pump. When the leg's down in the water, the water level is higher up in the leg. So although it's covering the intake here, it's not high enough to prime this pump, and this pump can't pump air and therefore suck the water up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna need two hands for this, but I'm gonna transfer in this bucket and then we'll try again. So now you can see I've got the water sort of up to here, much, much closer to the height that it would be if it was in the water. And we'll go again. So you can see that once the water level is higher up the leg, it started pumping water. So if it's not pumping water, don't automatically presume it's a problem with the pump. They're not self-priming pumps, so the water level naturally has to come up quite high up the leg them to work you also have to be turning it in the correct direction so as you can see once the water was further up the leg it started pumping no problem so if you put it in and it's not pumping water just have a look at the water level you've got covering just the intake isn't enough you do need to get to the stage where the pumps primed it can't pump air and draw water up that way so that's about all I wanted to say for this video just a little midweek extra in between the uh, restoration project but I just wanted to go through that so that when people come back and say they've done a test and their pump's not working, just to make sure it really is a problem with the pump and just not people doing the test incorrectly, that's all. Other than the water level, obviously the important thing is knowing that you need to select neutral so you don't have the prop spinning around in the bucket and also knowing which way your outboard goes. Most outboards go clockwise, but just do a little bit of searching on the net and make sure you've got it correct for your outboard. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you again on the weekend when we push on with the green machine restoration.